Again, if a group of people come forward and cast their opinion to select someone in the office, there are several ways to find a winner or selecting someone. So this is one another way called plurality method. Another word popular sometimes we say. Anyone get higher votes. So each in this process, each voter votes for one candidate. The candidate receiving the most votes will declare the winner by the plurality method. So let's take a look here. So the takeaway of this one is that whoever gets the highest highest number of votes. So we don't really have to care about how many total votes. Whoever got the highest vote. So I have an example down here as you see. Find a winner using the plurality method. Okay, so plurality method. So well, what is this notation? So let's take a look here. Future Quincy. And Robert is running for office. So Peter, Quincy, Robert, this combination only after each border vote for one candidate. This is the way the ballot paper six possible law is this you know paper is there. So this possible law Peter got Peter got six plus one. Remember the first letter will get the votes. So Peter has seven votes. Quincy got four plus two is equal to six now let's do the votes and robert got zero plus eight eight votes okay let's see anyone get highest vote here so again there is a possibility we may not have a new winner if we see same number of highest votes so in this case we are lucky we actually have eight votes so which is higher than the rest of them actually okay so which is higher than the rest of them so we clearly say oh this C sorry Robert is the winner so Robert is the winner R is the winner by plurality rule that's all yeah whoever got the highest vote is the winner after collecting their number of votes thank you